been a while since I've done a video. It has been raining and raining and raining. But I won't be long till we'll be dry. We'll be wishing we had the rain again. Everything is pretty and green though. So that's good. Fish are pretty this morning. They're enjoying the cooler weather. The hydrangeas are blooming so pretty. And the creeping Jimmy has really liked all the nice moisture and coolness. Hadn't done much for the Palladiums there, but Creeping Jimmy sure did like it. And these hydrangeas might bloom this year. I kind of doubt it. I just moved them there. But those out there are pretty this year. Few of the black eyed Susans are blooming. The blackberry lilies haven't bloomed yet. And all the crocosmias are thinking about blooming. There's Pup Pup on her back. Say good morning. Pup Pup. She's checking out. The birds looking for that squirrel that she does not like. These lace caps are so pretty, I think. And it's funny how it's the same bush right beside of each other. Some are pink and some are blue. Depends on the soil. There's a bumblebee on that one. It's enjoying it this morning. The oak leaves. are so pretty. And soon the ornamental lilies, oriental lilies, will be blooming. There's only a few of them left. It's too shady here now. This used to all be in full sun. The wajila has finished blooming, but it has you little stragglers. 
This one's not a very hardy one. But it has the prettiest blooms. It's been so chilly, it's not bloomed out much, but it's a really pretty hydrangea, but it's kind of tender. It doesn't get much blooms. You can see a few, but it's really pretty when it blooms. And come out here is the honeysuckle. And the hummingbirds really do like it. And the chase tree is putting on blooms. It'll be blooming before long. And the cactus, which I'm always amazed that this one will bloom under this tree. This tree has grown out and covered it since it was planted there, but it still gets enough sun to bloom. Look at all the blooms. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but there's such a bright lemon yellow bloom. And this clematis is really old. It's at least 40 years old, I would think. Maybe 39? Mama bought it for us when we first got married. And I moved it over here when we moved. It's such a pretty color. It's about bloomed out now, and the rain speed it off, but you can see what a pretty color it is. The hardy begonias are coming along. They've enjoyed the cooler weather and all this rain. That clematis got wilt. I had to cut it back. More lace cap. And I just love that one that has the purple and the pink and the blue all on one. And that pink one back there is Ron's favorite. Rhododendrons are putting on new growth. Pretty Japanese maple peeking through. Little hydrangeas. More honeysuckle. Not much bloom in this area except for the hydrangeas. Stuff checks in and checks out. Still a few of these pink ones blooming here. One of these days we're going to redo this old well house. Too many other things to do first. My poor old swan, topiary bit the dust this summer, winter, sorry, this one's fading out, but I still think they're so pretty, this one is starting to come out, but this topiary, you can tell, is a kitty cat, it needs trimming, but it's doing good. Me and Ron are experimenting with this tree so far. We ain't done much with it, but it just came up by itself, so I wasn't worried about wasting money. This hydrangea 
oak leaf. It's really got some huge blooms. Check that out. The birds are singing pretty this morning. My sweet husband fixed my froggy back and moved another big froggy out. I used to have stuff planted in it, but I didn't plant anything in it this year, but I still think he looks pretty. And the hostas that I divided and moved, they're coming along. And also those bleeding hearts. They're struggling, but they're coming along. Need to repaint my pretty birdhouse Ron made me and cut that bush back so you can see it. The other side of this because they really don't get enough sun and I hadn't planted anything back but looks like I missed a few got a new little clematis down there that's coming along Angela Van Hoy gave me those hydrangeas those blue ones with the big fluffy snowballs and there's the Calla lily, I love the spotted leaves and the beautiful flowers. And then I rooted this lace cap hydrangea. Another honeysuckle. And before long, all of those day lilies that I got from Aunt B will be blooming. I planted a little succulent plants in this old bird bath. They've been drowned with rain. Hopefully they will make it. These day lilies are getting ready to bloom. There's a little small one. Not been getting much sun. But they're a pretty color with the comb flowers. I moved my snapdragons because they were just not doing good at all where they were. They seem a little bit happier here. There's a few more that are getting ready to bloom here. And this is a cow lily that I need to move out from these. They've gotten too big. The day lilies have overtaken them. And y'all be proud of me. I painted my furniture. Took me all day last Saturday to scrape it and paint it. Got it done. Painted it with the brush. Took me a while. I like it with the pretty purple flowers here and the pretty basil. But they look good. And I got this little thing filled with rocks. I have some rocks from Alaska that my son brought me and I put them up and can't find them. This is the only one that I can find right now. It's from Dry Creek. In Healy, Alaska. And my little flower bed is getting closer to looking like it has a bedspread. The cannons are 
is really tall. And on the other side of the garden shed is the bottle wall. And we got the coal frame open this morning. I rooted some plants and trying to start some seeds. A few of them are doing good and coming up. This is an Easter egg plant right there. It'll be interesting to show y'all as it grows, it gets eggs on it. Some of the other stuff that I've rooted. Some Kusa dogwoods. And more piles of lumber. That someday will be pretty in the shop, so I'll have to show y'all that. The butterfly bush is starting to put on blooms. It always smells so pretty when you walk by. Isn't that beautiful? You can hear the bees on it. These are Ron's flowers on this side. He don't do much weeding. <laughs> Which I can't talk, I'm behind myself. And then, we'll walk through it. There's my school bus. It's gonna be a camper one of these days. And not a whole lot blooming out through here right now. More daylilies will be blooming later. And there's lots and lots of volunteer zinnias. And lots of daisies and lots more volunteer zinnias. But they'll be pretty. Gonna come up where they want to. I haven't got to be here, the, the daisies. It's been so rainy, but there's plenty more, as you can see, coming up. I would bring that on the rain, but I think my doggy done that. She gets after bunny rabbits. I just left the zinnias in the walk. I think they're pretty. Lots of daylilies. I haven't beheaded them yet this morning. The rain's messed that one up a little bit, but it's still very pretty. thinking that these hostas are getting too much sun. I'm going to have to move them and put something else there sometime. But the sun patients are coming along. They haven't got real big yet, but they're blooming right much. More hydrangeas. This is a, I think it's called a beauty berry. Yeah, it'll be blooming. It has purple berries. It's so pretty. And the climbing hydrangea is done for the year. The strawberries have about drowned in all the rain that we've had. See some birds been picking on them. My husband's put some wedges in there. I'm not sure what that is. And the other side of this garden, I let all of the oregano flower out. Some of the last I haven't got moved. But the bees like it.
don't remember. I saw you a name of these. Guardia? Guardia? Something? They're like a, they get, they'll get taller when it gets warmer. And they, the gentlest the breeze will have a move. If you can maybe see that one's moving. It's kind of like little butterflies in the air. And we've come full circle here. Go across the front of the yard. Hopefully no cars will run over me. <laughs> they come very fast. Have a clement is still blooming out here. And here comes the car. I don't know if you could have seen that, but the froggy just jumped in the pond. Barberry bush is putting on new growth. It's pretty. There's another big beauty berry. It will have the purple berries. There's another big hydrangea that will bloom later. And there's lots of tall weeds that I need to get up. That cactus is blooming as well. The little Stella Dioros have been blooming. And I just love that little blue fescue grass. As a nice little touch of blue. More day lilies, which I can believe the deers haven't munched them up yet. But they haven't. The chase tree that will bloom soon from the other side. And this big old viburnum that's just huge. That will have blueberries. They look like almost like little miniature blueberries you could eat. Oops. And the birds like them in the fall. You can see where they're going to have little berries. And this is such a pretty bright color of yellow. It's a Greenish yellow. And I can't wait till the chase tree blooms. It's so pretty. It's wrapping all down around in here. You can see it'll be blooming soon. Got a few dead from last winter that I haven't got cut out yet. There's my big crop of weeds, and they're not even blackberries, they're just briars. Need to clean out this little bee watering thing. We've got small ones around. We got two or three around for the bees to be able to get water. But that one's gotten dirty in the middle with all this rain. Haven't cleaned it out. Thank y'all for spending time with me.